Julia grew these potatoes from seeds because one of the problems that potatoes have is that for thousands of years they've been grown from clones. And if something is grown as a clone, it is susceptible to diseases, it's susceptible to genetic damage that happens a little bit every generation. And part of landrace gardening is to grow things from seeds so that we can continually be selecting for local adaptation. The way that we've all been taught is that this is a potato seed. This tuber is a potato seed, but the tuber isn't the seed. The, the seed is in the fruit. So when I say if we're cloning a potato, what I mean is we're taking this tuber and we're replanting it. Just like potatoes have been grown for ages, even though they call this a seed potato, it's not a seed and it doesn't have anything to do with the seed. The seeds come out of, out of the fruits. If I collect seeds from my own potatoes and I replant them year after year, then I can select for varieties that really thrive in my local ecosystem. One of the things that I like to select for when I'm selecting for potatoes is I like to select for potatoes that make fruits because if I'm growing a clone that doesn't make a fruit then I can't save seeds from it and it can't become locally adapted and so that that's a criteria that I look for. In commercial potatoes about 85 percent of the varieties don't make seeds because they've accumulated so much genetic damage that that they're just incapable of doing that anymore. One thing that I like to do is I like to grow my potatoes and harvest them and select the say the five percent of them that are the the tastiest the the most productive and clone those for the second year and I and I, they might stay cloned for a long time and then grow seeds from them again the year after that so I have both uh, I'm doing both cloning in my old ways and also selecting for new varieties as we go along. All right, let's dig a big one. We're harvesting the fruits and the tubers at the same time so that we can keep them together if we really like a tuber. Uh oh, I see a white potato. So one thing I notice is this has a really lovely root system. Look at that. <laughs> little white fingerlings so nice big beautiful red ones and lots of them these are seed grown and look how big now I got to do the real test like look at how productive that is you can totally grow these from seed mm -hmm. and have a beautiful harvest okay. uh, one thing that I selected for early on with potatoes is for the ability to set seeds because if they don't make seeds then I can't be doing a breeding project with them. Look at that! Oh my Whoa. heck! Look! I need another box. Uh, that's part of the joy of digging potatoes that are grown from seed because you never know what's going to be under the ground. That was a, uh, more than four pounds. And there we have a, a huge productive seed grown potato plant. The plants adapt to our growing conditions and if we like using compost and we use it regularly they will adapt to that and even become dependent on it which is okay if you always have compost and you want to put in the labor. In my garden I choose not to put in the labor to, comp to add compost. There's a lot of value in selecting for different colors because of the different nutritional profiles because we might not be able to know exactly what that is, but we can say diversity in our diet is a good thing.